Hello, my name is Leslie Wallen. I'm an occupational therapist, and today I'm going to be sharing with you some hand wrapping techniques. These are techniques that are particularly useful for children who have epidermolysis bullosa, as well as other congenital hand conditions. It's really important uh, before you start your hand wrapping techniques to have all of the products that you require uh, prepared. So today I have some uh, contact layers uh, if you're managing blisters and wounds um, prepared today, as well as all of my soft bandages. I have my scissors, I have some pre-cut tape as well. Uh, and before you get your child to sit down with you, please get everything ready, sit in a comfortable position before you invite your child over to get started. Okay, so today I'm gonna to show you the first step of looking after blisters and wounds. So we may first use a mesh contact layer. So the tops have already been taken off of these, which make it a little bit easier for you to just get started. So today, as you can see, I'm using a nice mannequin. So your child might be a little bit more wiggly than my mannequin, and it can be a bit tricky uh, to get this done. So what I'm doing is just gently placing this mesh layer in between each of the web spaces. Now you'll use as many dressings as you need to cover blisters or wounds on your child's hand. If you need any help with this or need to review any of the techniques, please reach out to your EB nurse specialist or occupational therapist that you work with on your clinic service. Okay, so I'm just laying down this mesh layer and as you can see it likes to sometimes peel off so do your best just to try and stick it there it is a bit sticky and keep it nice and flat okay so we're adding a layer to each web space including the thumb okay so Once you're done laying that contact layer, we're gonna take a thin foam. Now this thin foam has been pre-cut. As you can see, it's about the width of the palm and the length of the palm and about double the length and we've put three slits in there. So this is gonna help you get this in place and put it on as quickly and easily as possible. So I'm laying that in the palm and I'm gonna just pull that through each of the web spaces to try and provide that layer of foam to each of the web spaces that we've put that mesh contact layer on. Okay, and I'm just trying to secure that underneath with my thumb and fingers, just to hold it in place on the palm as well. Okay, once you have that in place, we're gonna start with our soft dressing. Now the other place you may need to add a soft layer prior to doing your, your bandage wrapping is around the wrist. And this helps to provide a level of protection to the wrist when we're wrapping with our soft bandages. So just a very gentle layer there. And our soft wraps are going to then be placed on top of this wrist piece here. This first technique is just going to be wrapping the web spaces. So with your bandage, what I'd like you to think about is holding on to um, the, the bottom piece with your left hand, and you're always going to be wrapping towards the thumb. So we first hold the bandage, and what you can see is I'm laying the bandage on top of the hand. Okay, so we're gonna be rolling always out and away and this can help you keep nice and the bandage nice and close to the hand when you're wrapping. So by securing it on the wrist, we're going to go once around the wrist to secure it in place. Now I want you to be very conscious of how much tension you're putting on the bandage. Some bandages are quite stretchy, okay? So we want to just be laying them down very gently and not really pulling and forcing the bandage into a particular direction. Okay, so once we're done, Putting one layer around the wrist, we're going to start by wrapping the thumb. Okay, so we're going to come into the palm first. Okay, bring that down. And we're going to go right around that thumb. Okay, and again, we're going to go around the wrist. Okay, always wrapping towards the little finger. 
Okay, and that secures our thumb wrap. So once we're done there, we're gonna bring that around, we're gonna turn the hand over, and we're gonna start by wrapping the, the second web space between the index finger and middle finger. Okay, now again, what I'm doing is I'm securing that bandage just in the palm, and I just wanna make sure that I'm not putting too much tension through the bandage, and I'm just bringing that down into the web space. I'm gonna lay that down gently, and I'm gonna bring it back down to the wrist. And from there, I'm just securing it at the wrist so I don't get any bunching. And I'm just coming around the wrist again very gently to secure that one in place. Okay, so once I've secured that in place with wrapping around the wrist, I'm gonna come back and do the next web space. And again, I'm securing it in the palm, gently pulling it through the web space, keeping very gentle tension on the bandage and laying it down the back of the hand. Okay, so you are gonna do a little bit of hand swapping. Um, and you will get used to that as you go. Okay, around the wrist once, secure that in place, turn the hand over, and we're gonna do the last web space. Now I just want you to be mindful of bringing the wrap over to uh, align it with the web space. Try not to wrap and pull tension diagonally, just bring it round the wrist and slowly then start bringing it up through the web space. Okay, securing that again in the palm, just trying to keep your dressing as flat as possible. Okay, holding the hand there and again, laying it down to the wrist, gently bringing it across to secure that in place. Okay, now, this is, this is, we're gonna stop here. So if your child would like to have their fingers free to play and explore, then what you'll do is you'll just cut your bandage, just put a little piece of tape, okay? And let's just have a look at the front and the back. So this is how it looks at the back, okay? Around the thumb and at the front. Now in order to secure that in place, what you might do is use a tubular bandage. So I've just pre-cut a hole in the bandage where the thumb is going to be. So I might just then very gently stretch that over the fingers, place that little hole over the thumb and just gently pull that down. Okay, and this is then gonna leave your child's hands free but will provide protection in the web space. And that's, this is particularly important because we want to maintain the spaces and the, maintain the web spaces as open uh, as possible to give independent finger movement. Okay, and just the way it looks, just with the bandage on, okay? I want you to be very mindful that the thumb hole is actually big enough. Um, if it's too small, it actually can cut into the web space of the thumb. So I just want you to make sure that there isn't any um, small little elastics within the tubular bandage that might need to be snipped. Okay, so that's how it looks there. 